Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over the last part of the exoskeleton, and we have the ribs here. Alright, so here's a breakdown. We have 12 ribs, and they're all thoracic. Uh, ribs are thoracic in nature. They protect uh, most of the thoracic uh, viscera, as well as uh, some of the, uh, the peritoneal ones. The, the first seven ribs are true ribs because they don't they have their own costal cartilage that uh, connects directly to the sternum. And the last five are, are false ribs because they uh, share a costal cartilage. And the last uh, two ribs are called floating ribs and because they do not connect to the sternum whatsoever. And that's 11 and 12. So... Uh, going off what I said before, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. They have their own costal cartilage, you can see here, and they connect directly to the sternum with no shortcuts. But eight through 12, you can see, well, 11 and 12 don't even have their own cartilage, but eight, you see, it kind of connects over here to this weird little cartilage piece, and then it kind of merges upwards and then merges with the sevens. So that would be a false rib. Doesn't make them any less effective, though. And over here, we'd have our floating ribs, and they're uh, quite small even smaller than maybe the, the more cervical facing rib. But here we have the false ribs, or floating ribs, which are also false ribs. And then uh, we will have our sternum here, and let's go over the anatomy of the sternum, which is very simple. Now the sternum is the centerpiece of the ribs, where all the ribs, uh, or most ribs, articulate to. Uh, over here we have the clavicular notch, we have the jugular or suprasternal notch. Uh, it's better to call it suprasternal but we have a bilateral clavicular notch to articulate with each clavicle. And we have the manubrium of the sternum over here, and then the sternal angle where the manubrial sternal joint is, but you don't need to know that because this is just the uh, skeleton. Then we have our body of the sternum here, and then this little thing sticking out is the xiphoid process. And the xiphoid process faces downwards over here. And then we have our ziphy sternal joint here. And that's it for the sternum. Now uh, well, we have this thing where we'll, we'll probably get the video taken down, but uh, I'd like to think I'm educating people. Now we have the anatomy of the rib here. Uh, the articulator facet over here, we have superior and inferior articulating facet. And I would like to call these demi facets instead because that's what they are. They're flatter facets and they articulate uh, with the vertebrae, the inferior and superior articulating facet of the vertebrae. And this part articulates to the transverse facet over here. And then sometimes we have another facet here that articulates its other parts. And then we have our costal groove over here. The, the general anatomy, we have the tubercle of rib, the superior and inferior are, are, uh, articulating demi facets, or just superior, or just the articulating demi facets. And it's not shown here, but we have the body of the rib, so this middle part, um, the head of the rib, and then the, the facet for the costal cartilage over here and then our costal groove. Now the way we can tell that the rib is left or right is uh, fairly simple. Well, we've got to look at uh, the extensively uh, tuberculated, if you will, or a lot of tubercles and a lot of stuff going on here. And we want to face that uh, posteriorly um, when we have it in our hands or put it in our mind space. And this costal groove is always going to face inferiorly so if we put this uh, facing towards us, when you see the costal groove, you can feel it's pointing down. This must be a left rib. But if it was pointing up and we had this facing towards us, we had to have to flip it over and then it must be a right rib again. And you could tell when it would be, or sorry, a left rib, and it wouldn't be a right rib. Now, here are some uh, considerations here. Um, Thoracic vertebrae articulate with the ribs, and they're the only vertebrae that will ever articulate with the rib. And uh, 10 ribs are connected to the sternum by costal cartilages. Remember, the other two have no costal cartilages uh, uh, whatsoever. Uh, costal grooves always face inferiorly. And I actually made a mistake here. This part is the head, and this part is the uh, facet for costal cartilage. And then uh, one more thing, the uh, costal angle, or the angle of the rib is around here where it makes a turn. 
Manes, uh, oh, we got one more thing uh, for the appendicular skeleton, the hyoid bone. Uh, this is found suspended uh, right above the larynx, and this uh, forms the base of the mouth when you swallow. It's the base of your tongue and stuff like that. So we take out the hyoid bone over here. We have the greater horn, the lesser horn, uh, and the body of the hyoid. And those three parts are it. Anyways, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in the appendicular skeleton. See ya.